the Notorious CGA back in here, man. We starting a vlog series back. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, go ahead and check out the other videos. All last year, we had some vlogs going on and I'm gonna kick the series back in the new location, all right? We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're at Area 51. You'll see, man, it's not that Area 51. You're gonna see the Area 51 we're in. And uh, we're gonna check it out, man. This is one of those things that's fascinating. It's a little well-known secret here in Nevada. But today we're gonna talk about California. IA. All right, we're gonna talk about California and why I decided to relocate here to Nevada. As you know, the vlog series from last year, mostly to California, went out to California, but now we're in Nevada. We're gonna check it out. So today's episode, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna talk about why you might wanna leave California and what's the difference between California and what's the difference between any other location? What do you leave? All right, that's what we're gonna get into. I spent 30 years in California total. And I'm an old man, you see the great beard here. I spent about 30 years in California. Got a lot of love for California, man. Listen, I know I'm not a California hater and I don't want you to be a California hater. There's a lot of California haters out here and a lot of people don't want people to leave California and come to their state. I can completely understand. But I've also lived in uh, Salt Lake City. I lived in New York. I lived in New Mexico, I've lived in Wisconsin, I've lived in Louisiana and uh, Northern California as well. So I got great perspective of what it's like to relocate and live in a different place. California is near and dear my heart. Today, we're really gonna talk about the differences between uh, California and any other state. I know a lot of people, if you live in California right now and you really don't, you know, you really wanna leave because the money's getting tighter. The economy is funny. You got homelessness running rampant, but you really don't wanna take that chance to move to another state. And I can understand that. So we're gonna maybe, maybe I can help you out. The 40 million people that are in Cali, maybe I can help you out, or maybe I can help some of the people who wanna go run to California because as much people are that are leaving California, there's many more people coming in looking for that California dream. So let's check out a couple of these things and then we'll talk about it. I'm not an artsy person, but this place, man, Area 51, you gotta check it out. It's very artsy. Uh, I wish I really knew what was going on here. Anybody wanna fill me in? Just wait till we get to the Omega Mark. But uh, look at this, man. This is an owl. I don't know if the owl's from Harry Potter. I don't know. Anybody can tell me about it? I know they have something about it. It's called a, it's called a, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, but it's crazy, man. All right, I see myself over and over again. This is like a, this is like a tyrant's dream. All right, there I am, there I am, I'm into infinity. <laughs> this is crazy. It's a little spooky at the same time. All right, man, look, let me give you a couple points on the differences since I moved from California just recently over to Vegas. Let me give you a couple points. Let me give you a couple points. All right, point number one, the differences between there and there. Okay, number one, obviously, is gonna be the cost of living. This is why people are motivated for, to move from California to Nevada. The cost of living is gonna be that much more different. I mean, you get more bang for your buck. If you're a person who always wanted to own their own property or something like that, you're gonna be able to do it. Although the economy right now is not the best for that, you can rent a property right now. Your space is going to be that much more significant. So your money is gonna stretch a lot longer as long as you're bringing that income from California here. If you're leaving another job, might might not work out for you, but you're gonna get more bang for your buck. All right, the second point is, obviously you're gonna get tax benefits. People are looking for tax benefits when they're leaving California and they're moving to Nevada. The state, there's no state income tax, all right? So that's gonna be a significant one. But in California, the state income tax is significant. Not only that, the personal income tax is significant just being there. So your cost of living and your tax benefits are gonna be significantly different. It's gonna just, you're just gonna feel it as soon as you get here. The cost of living also, gas prices are gonna be lower. Obviously, if you live in California, you lived at a point where you're talking about $7 a gallon. I know it's going down, but it's significantly lower here. But sometimes things are a little bit higher. Like you might go to the grocery store and things might be a little bit higher than you're normally accustomed to. So those are some of the things that you might deal with that might be a change, okay? Homelessness, okay? I know you think you see a lot of homeless people and you think that's everywhere. It's not really everywhere. I mean, everywhere has homelessness, but in California, 
I was in Orange County. I was in one of the richest places ever, and we had homelessness rampant, all right? In Orange County, they had homeless shelters. They had homeless uh, communities that are outside near the freeway. If you live in Los Angeles, you're used to seeing homelessness. Here in Nevada, and of course, I don't live in the middle of Las Vegas, but I live in just on the outskirts. There's not a lot of homeless people, all right? If you do meet a homeless people or a homeless person, they're not as, I would say, crazy as the ones that are in Los Angeles, because obviously you're dealing with extensive drug addicts, mental health issues that aren't being taken care of. I don't see that much here, and I'm in Nevada, and again, I've lived in other areas, so I don't see that much of a problem here as I do in California. So those are some things that obviously you're gonna jump out on you. You're not dealing with that. Of course, I call California the land of nuts and honey. All right, so it is a good place, all right? A lot of crazy people, but then you also have a lot of attractive people. Speaking of attractive, the attractiveness level, if you're used to seeing attractive people and you're in California, when you move to a, any other place, the attractiveness level is gonna drop significantly, all right? There's not that gonna be that many good looking people you're accustomed to. And that's mainly because the standard of beauty okay, is gonna be that much more significant. I mean, in California, you got the looks are everything, right? So people are gonna take care of it. Uh, I think people here have given up on themselves because it really doesn't matter. You can find a mate, but in California, not so much, all right? You're gonna have to be at the top of your game, looks-wise, health-wise, fitness-wise, maybe plastic surgeon-wise, maybe hair weed wise maybe Brazilian butt lift-wise, maybe breast implant-wise, but you're gonna have to be at the top of your game so you're used to seeing attractive people. When you go to other places, it's gonna drop significantly, and that's not gonna help your dating prospects either. Don't think that you're gonna have an advantage because you look better when you come from where you come from. It's not that big of a deal here or anywhere else. So those are some things that just jump out at me, man. Let's get ready to go inside. Hey, welcome to Las Vegas. There's another sign that you're gonna find this, the original one, and the line is up the wazoo when you go there, so check that out. Another significant thing that I wanna talk to you about, you Californians that wanna leave, or you people that wanna get to California. Hey, uh, the weather, yeah, man. Listen, I know when you're in California, the weather is everything. That's what you pay for. I call it, you're paying the sun tax. But when you leave California, that weather ain't coming with you, bro. All right, that weather ain't coming from you. I live miles from the beach and it was cool and crisp. Even on hot days, you know them hot San Fernando Valley days, it doesn't be what another place is gonna give you. And I'm just using Las Vegas as an example. It's hotter than a mofo out here, bro. I mean, stifling hot. You get used to it, you do get used to it, but it's stifling hot. And so if you're used to being, the weather being in your favor, any other place, again, I lived all over the country, any other place is not gonna have that. In Las Vegas, man, we have monsoon season, they got windy season, they got desert dust storm, dust devil season, all right? They got the damn, damn winter, all right? It's crazy here. So again, you, you, you're able to, your cost of living is that much better, but the weather is not as controllable as you would want it to be. And that's gonna be something that you're gonna have to get used to. And some people don't like that, they flee their ass right back to California. California, the women, the weed, and the weather, right? <laughs> oh, the weed is whack here too, but I don't smoke, I don't smoke. The weed is whack. You want that California sticky icky, you go still, look, what I've heard was this. I heard that even though it's legal here, they still try to go get the California weed, all right? That's how way crazy it is. So if you're worried about that, if that's something you're worried about, uh, yeah, it's a difference. But I wouldn't know from personal experience, huh? I don't know. This place is insane, man. We're gonna, we're gonna be able to get a little bit of things here. If you ever come to Vegas, you gotta check this place out. Very, very unique place. Even if you're not artistic, it's a crazy experience. Let's experience. Check out my shoes, man. Check these out. All right, I've got, I got California Vans in here. And uh, they're glowing in the dark. I think if you wear white, they glow in the dark. How's my teeth? My teeth looking good. <laughs> Let's check this place out, man. What it is is, I really can't explain what it is. As you can see, it's pretty unique. I would think it's an art artistic culture and allowing people to express themselves artistically. And this is what I'm doing with you. I mean, you know, I got a videographer here. Uh, we run vlogs. I'm expressing myself artistically and I do what I call artistic. And you might not think so, but this is the same thing. 
part of this is accepting people's creativity and getting that outlet for people to be creative. So we're gonna explore all that, man. This is fantastic, I love it. All right, let's go take a look down here. They got a nice little bar area and a few restaurants that if you do want to eat, I'm not going to eat today, but if you do want to eat, they got a couple of bar lounges and restaurants down here that you can pick from. And you can also throw some axes. I should have did that. Maybe I'll do that later. I'm going to embarrass myself. Let me give you guys a couple more points. Check this out. So in California, the mindset is hustle, 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 go, go, go. Now, I know that mindset is pretty much everywhere nowadays, right? Everybody has a mindset of they want to hustle. They want to make the best life they possibly can but i want to give you guys a a measurement based on how it is in california and how it is here even northern california the bar is pretty low you can see a 30 million dollar house just like that in southern california a one million dollar house is like a starting house so even if you make it to that point you still got to be on the go 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 all right that's why the freeways are jammed up that's why people are always about a hustle they're always trying to do something well here not so much all right, there's people with a hustle mentality, but again, the bar's low. So if you don't make it, you don't make it. You can still survive to a certain extent. You don't need the million dollar house here, although there are some people that have it here. It's not a necessity. So you're looking at the person with the million dollar house, like it's not entry level. You're like, okay, that's good for him, but I really don't need that. I need $300,000 house and you could be just fine. So the bar is low and the grind mindset is way different. It's exponentially different. Like I said, just to do entertainment here, you can do entertainment here, you can go to see nice shows and concerts and be middle class and you can be fine. And so the California, not so much, you still just trying to make rent, okay? You still just trying to make rent and you're hustling to do that. Forget going to the Lakers game, all right? Forget going to a concert, you can barely do that. You got to pile in with four roommates in one house. When I was in California, I made good money. I made good money and it was still a grind and a hustle. And I'm not telling you to kill your hustle, but it's that much more different. I gotta go in this store. This is one of my favorite stores because as you guys know, I have a sweet tooth like crazy. All right, my dentist loves me because I gotta be at the dentist all the time. This is, uh, I think it's called Rocket Fizz. All right, in one of my first vlogs, I did this candy store. The music's kind of loud here, so I'm gonna explain what it is. It's candy. All right, candy and sugar. I'm addicted to it. Oh. Man, you don't even know. When I was a kid, my mother used to say, they gonna find me dead somewhere, they have to follow the candy wrappers. You know what I mean? She was like, follow the candy wrappers, you'll find me. Oh, these are my favorites right here. These are my favorites. I go nuts over these. These are, this should be illegal. One time I bought some of these at a store. I think it was Costco or Walmart. You know, you put your phone number in. They called me. They was like, if you bought lightsabers, you need to throw them away because they had some aluminum. They knew I had it, bro. All right. They knew I was so much of a lightsaber junkie. Check this out, man. We about to control the lights. I'm the light DJ in the building. Boom. Light DJ in the building. Wow. I think I got a new job. Put the shades on. I got a new job in here. They hired me as the light DJ. Tell me what your favorite candy is, man. Put it in the comment section. I'm not into taffy too much. Water taffy, salt water taffy. I can't really do that. It's not sweet enough. Uh oh, lemon heads though. And laffy taffy. Oh, now we talking. Lemon heads and laffy taffy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna come back here, man, off camera and I'm gonna buy the whole store. I can't show you how much of a junkie I am. All right, let me give you a couple more points. These are my last two points, man, and I think they're very important. I'm very important. All right, what's the difference between California and the rest of the country? The people, let's talk about the people that you're gonna meet. They're more down to earth than the people in California. You know what I mean? California people are really preoccupied with themselves. They're a little bit more self-absorbed. They're into what they're doing, you know what I mean? You, Everybody in California is famous or they're connected to someone's famous. I know a DJ, I know this rapper, I know this basketball player. Everybody's famous and everybody's got a story. They're four degrees away from a famous millionaire, you know what I mean? But you don't get that many other places. So if you meet a person, they're gonna be way more down to earth typically than the person you're gonna meet with in California. And I know of you California people know this, there's name droppers everywhere. Everybody's name dropping. If they're not name dropping, they're vacation dropping. If they're not vacation dropping, they're job dropping. You don't really get that here. And that's a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're really done with the stuck up attitudes, you're gonna see less of it here. 
and you're gonna run into it, you know what I mean? You're gonna run into that one person, the male or female, that's extremely beautiful, and uh, they're beautiful for here. They're a Las Vegas eight, but when they get to California, they're a California six, maybe a five, and they've been growing up in here in this small pond, and they think they're all that. Every now and then, you might run into that, but for the most part, people are down to earth, and they'll talk to you, and they'll be cordial. In California, they just walk right by you like you didn't even exist. They'll just walk right through you and stare through you like you didn't exist, so that's a good change. All right, last point on this one, work-life balance. All right, work-life balance. Like I said, you're always on the go. When you're there, Southern California, Northern California, you're always on the go. Here, you can kind of relax, you can be mellow. Okay, many people don't live in Las Vegas proper. They live kind of far out, which would be far out for Las Vegas people, but in California, everything's still close. So work-life balance is gonna be that much better. When a weekend comes, you can let your hair down, you can go relax, you can stay in the house and chill. You can barbecue in your backyard, you can chill, drop in the pool. Okay, it's a better work-life balance. In California, you're on your second job, right? You're on your third job, and you're actually trying to make ends meet. So that's the beautiful thing about it. I'm gonna enjoy it. This is the fourth time that I've left California. I consider other places. I'll put that in real quick. I consider Las Vegas, Dallas, not Austin. I consider Montana. I consider most everything on the West Coast so I can get back to California. But I settled on Vegas, so Vegas it is, and we're gonna let it ride. All right, man, that was my video about California to Nevada, California to anywhere else. Do me a favor, man. Go in the comment section see where i was right see where i was wrong actually express your opinion or if you agree with any of those things let me know in the comment section that'll be a good debate you can go back and forth that's what the comment section is for and also hit the like button on this video man it's very important this video is sponsored by the like button and then also hit the subscribe button man let's get some views on this video and get some more people in here i got some great vlogs coming up you know what the next vlog is gonna be Omega Mart, man. I'm about to go in there. It looks like a grocery store. We're going to pick up some groceries. Is that what it is? Let's go check it out. All right, man. We out of here. Peace.